you're a Windows user that just uses your PC casually and just needs a basic screen capture tool, or you're someone that needs more productivity features for work or school, there's a free screenshot tool for you. Having tested more than a dozen screen capture software, I'll count down the top five absolute best screenshot tools for your computer. Let's get started. Before we get to our top five, I do want to point out that the snipping tool built into Windows has improved quite a bit over the last few years. Is it better than anything in our top five? The short answer to that is no, but for some people, it just might be good enough. It lets you take four types of screen captures. Rectangle is where you can capture a region of your screen. You can capture an entire open window. You can capture the entire screen and there's freeform. In recent builds of Windows, it also lets you take a video recording of your screen. There's also a lot more settings that you can play around with. You can change the saved locations of your captures. You can choose whether your microphone input is allowed when starting a video recording, and you can change the appearance of the app. Your choices are light, dark, and system setting. After you've done a screen capture, a new window will open with tools at the top that let you mark it up and crop it. There's also a handy shortcut in the upper right that will let you edit it in Microsoft Paint. Paint is much improved and gives you tons of tools to let you edit your screenshot. Coming in at number five is Monosnap. Until we get to our top pick where I'll have a short demo, I'll just point out the key features that makes each of these worthwhile using. Monosnap along with the others coming up can capture anything on your screen, not just what's in your web browser. This one's great for beginners. You can do a full screen capture, select an area or select an opened window. It also lets you record videos and GIFs. To enhance productivity without opening a separate program, editing and annotation tools are built in. When you're done editing, you could share it directly to Facebook or X, which they still have listed as Twitter. You can also save it to your computer or upload it to Monosnap or other services like Dropbox and Google Drive. For non-commercial single users, Monosnap is completely free with up to two gigabytes of storage space. Paid plans start at $2.50 per month with additional cloud storage. In addition to Windows, Monosnap is also available for Mac OS. Our number four pick, the free and open source Greenshot, has been a favorite for Windows users for many years. In addition to the usual screenshot methods, it can do a scrolling full page capture of web pages. Their website homepage is outdated. It mentions Internet Explorer. I can confirm this also works in Chromium based browsers and Firefox. Speaking of outdated, their latest stable release was way back in 2017. It still works, so I can still recommend it for people needing something simple. They also have a version for Mac OS that is not free, but to be honest, it's not as good as the version for Windows. For years, it's appeared that development for Greenshot has been abandoned. In a blog post earlier this year, it seems they want to ramp up development to add new features and fix bugs. Time will tell if this actually happens. Coming in at number three is Flameshot. For people looking for something similar to Greenshot that's updated on a regular basis, the free and open source Flameshot is one to consider. While it does offer the typical screen capture methods, it does not offer the scrolling screenshot feature. Where it shines is in its customizations to change how it looks. It also has editing features and annotation tools that are quite useful, including a tool that can blur a section of an image. Screenshots can be saved to your computer and you can upload them directly to Imager. Another positive, Flameshot is one of only a few screenshot tools offering support for all three of the major platforms. It's available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. They also offer a portable version as well. Before we get to our top two, here's some bonus picks that for some of you might fit your needs better than those in our top five. FastStone Capture is from the same folks who make FastStone Image Viewer, which I've mentioned in our free software videos. While the user interface is outdated, it's lightweight, making it a great choice for older computers and includes various capture methods, including scrolling windows. It's free for personal, non-commercial use. From the makers of Snagit, a premium screenshot program is TechSmith Capture, formerly known as Jing. It's quite basic with limited capture and annotation tools, but is a good choice for people needing something simple to use. It's completely free. In addition to Windows, it's also available for Mac OS. 
available for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. ScreenRec is a lightweight, time-saving productivity solution to take screenshots and record instant private video messages. A downside is the editing features are limited. And the last of our bonus picks is Ease US Screenshot. It has the basics for capturing what is on your screen and has comprehensive editing tools to crop, annotate, add shapes, arrows, and text to your screenshots. In the runner-up spot, coming in at number two, is PicPic. Free for personal, non-commercial use, this one touts itself as an all-in-one design tool. It's packed with a ton of features. There's around a dozen capture methods to capture what is on your screen, including the ability to do a scrolling capture in any open window, including your web browser. There's an image editor with annotation tools and all sorts of other stuff. Screenshots can be saved to your computer or to third-party hosting services like OneDrive, Dropbox, and Google Drive. And it also includes a color picker, color palette, and pixel ruler. As I mentioned earlier, PicPic is free for personal, non-commercial use. If used in a business, there's a one-time cost that allows you to install it on two computers per user. Coming in at number one, the absolute best screenshot utility is the free and open source ShareX. Stay tuned to the end of this segment for important information about this program every user needs to know. The great thing about ShareX is that it's lightweight, not taking up many of your system resources, and it has the most features of any free screenshot tool you can get. It has more than a dozen screen capture methods and lets you record what is on your screen. After taking your screenshot, its built-in editor has more than 20 tools for you to choose from, and it has more than a dozen tools to enhance productivity, including a color picker, an image splitter, image effects, and a video converter. For new users, ShareX with all of its features can be overwhelming. When you open the program, you'll see the most popular keyboard shortcuts to capture or record your screen, which is handy. To put it simply, if you go to Capture in the left pane, you can choose the type of capture you'd like to take, and you'll find the video screen recording options in here as well. Also on the left, you'll find the various upload methods, and going to Tools lets you choose the various productivity tools I mentioned earlier. One misconception with ShareX is that auto-uploading screenshots and video recordings to a hosting service is on by default. This is not true. You would first need to configure it to an image hosting service to turn this feature on. If you turned on auto-uploads and want to turn it off, go to After Capture Tasks here on the left. Go to Upload Image to Host. If the text is in bold, this feature is turned on. If turned on, click on the text to turn it off. It's as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video was useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What screenshot tool do you use to capture what is on your screen? Let me know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and click the bell to not miss out on our latest top fives and other tech-related stuff.